Hey everybody, it's been six months, six months being a loan signing agent and I want to tell you what I don't like about being a loan signing agent. Stay tuned, see you in a bit. Okay, you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Joanne, living my best life in my 50s, 56 to be exact. I want to share with you some of the things that I don't like as a line sign, loan signing agent. Blah, blah, blah. All right, I got notes, you guys. <laughs> All right, so the first thing that I don't like is that the pay can really vary. I have done signings anywhere from $65, which typically are reverse mortgage applications, all the way as high as $275. Those have been my direct signings. So the money can vary. So you just don't know how much you're gonna be making. So that's the part that I don't like because when you're used to working a nine to five, hey, you basically know what your money's gonna be when payday rolls around unless you have some overtime. So that's one of the things I don't like. The second thing that I don't like, and these are not in any particular order, but the second thing that I don't like is that most of the signing services, you're on a net 30 or a net 45. So especially when you're just getting started, you need to have some money set aside because it can be a while before you get paid. And again, if you're Coming from a world where you get used to getting a paycheck every two weeks or so, that can be rough. So you got to have some money stashed away because, again, it can take anywhere from 30 to 45 days. Now, the great thing about going direct is that you tend to get paid a lot sooner. You can get paid within days, sometimes up to two weeks. So that's another great thing about being and going direct. Another thing that I don't like. Well, you just got to get used to it. You are your own boss. This is your business. So you have to pay for everything, not just gas, but you also got to pay for your paper, your toner, your paper clips, your envelopes, all your supplies. Everything is on you as a business owner. So that's another thing. You can't go back into a supply room and grab some things that you need because this is your business, you gotta take care of all that. So that's another thing that I don't like, but you gotta get used to it. But again, when you go direct, most of the time you just go in there, pick up the file, you don't have to print. They already have their copy, the borrower's copy already packaged up for you. You don't have to worry about envelopes, clips. Another good thing about going direct, sometimes you just go right into say the escrow office or title company, and you just meet the client there, the borrower, and you do it there and hand the documents back in. Another great thing, you don't have to worry about printing, toner, ink, clips, anything like that. And let's see. And another thing is that the market right now is stabilizing. It's a little inconsistent. So you never know where you're gonna get your next signing. You can have a week, maybe your phone is going off, blowing up from signing services, and you can have some weeks where it's just crickets. So. If this is gonna be your full-time gig, you really gotta get there, get out there and hustle and grind and market. So I'm trying to do as much marketing as possible and to fill in those gaps. So when it's a little slower, don't look at it as a bad thing, perhaps. I mean, it's easier said than done, especially if you got bills to pay. But just really keep that in mind. Sometimes it's really slow and you just got to be prepared to have some money to fill those gaps when it's slower. And so that's another thing that I really don't like. And what else? And a lot of times you have no idea how long a signing is going to take. You know, on average, I can do a signing if there's no hiccups, 45 minutes to an hour. But sometimes it can take longer especially if some of the numbers are wrong on a settlement statement, uh, if the borrowers have a lot of questions, if you have to call um, the lender because something's not right, uh, what else? You might have somebody who really wants to take the time and read all the documents. So 
and or if you're dealing with somebody that's elder, elderly, especially with reverse mortgage applications, that can take a lot longer. So you got to be really careful at how you schedule your appointments because you just don't know how long that signing appointment will take. So not really having control of that, that's the part that I really don't like. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Oh, another thing. A lot of times the borrowers think the notary works with the lender or the escrow officer or the title rep. So you can walk into a situation and you can kind of feel the tension and you really don't know why. They may be upset with the lender, the, the agent, the escrow officer, and they think that you work for them. So sometimes you really have to explain, and I learned that the hard way, you have to explain that, hey, you are your own boss. You don't work for any of them, so you don't know any of the other parties involved in the transaction. So that's another thing that I really don't like because... Again, if they have an issue with somebody that's involved in the transaction, they can take it out on you because let me tell you a story real quick. <laughs> I had um, to meet some signers at Starbucks. They had been sick with COVID. I had to wait for them to get over it. I had to meet up. The wife was lovely. The husband did not even look me in my eye, y'all. And I could tell he was upset, but I really didn't understand it. I, I would ask him a question. They only had a few documents to sign to I would ask him a couple questions. He was real short. And then finally he just goes, I don't know why we have to sign these again. And that's when it hit me. I'm like, again? He goes, yeah, we signed them again. And all of a sudden they said that the notary missed something. And now here you are and we signed again. How I know they didn't change the numbers? And I'm like, oh, okay. I, so I explained to him I had no idea that they had to sign again. This was the second signing. If he wanted to feel comfortable he could reach out to the lender he thought maybe perhaps they had changed some numbers on them and trying to do something shady and have them sign some documents so i just assured him if you're not feeling comfortable hey we don't have to do it now the wife kind of calmed him down the wife said that she couldn't find the original set that they had signed to verify that the numbers were the same but i explained that they can you know i'll give them a copy once they get home and find their original copy, if anything change, reach out, reach out to the lender. I explained to him how I don't work for anybody. The lenders just reached out to a signing service, asked if I was anybody's available in this zip code, and I was the one that was available. So after I explained to him how it works and my job as a notary, he was a lot better. He actually apologized for his rudeness. So that's something that I don't like. But hey, that's the name of the game. I think the good most definitely outweighs the bad that's for sure and um with all that being said i still really love being a notary and a signing agent because i love meeting people i love going to beautiful homes and um, i love controlling my own schedule and this is a great gig for me so hopefully that information will help somebody y'all and uh, i'm sure i have some other things but right now those are the things that i came up with and I'm going to say goodbye. Now, what was that pause about? Lord have mercy. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I appreciate all the great comments. And again, this is six months. I am at, I think, 105 signing now. And it's been a great ride. So continue to ride with me, y'all. And I appreciate everybody watching the videos. I'll see you soon. Bye.